Buddha.
spot to like get a season, you know, and then I don't know, I don't know how to answer. <laughs> and then you guys, you guys struggled against Sundance in the fourth quarter. What was yeah. you guys' is, um, did you guys all talk to each other and regroup? Oh yeah, we just talked to each other and we're like, we need to get it together because we really wanted to win so we could go into the championship, and, you know, try to get a three-peat. We're just trying to remind ourselves what we're here for and all that. And then against Rocky Mountain, I know you guys struggled against them in the regional championship. What was the guys' goal in the championship game because you knew they were going to come out tough? Yeah, for a championship, uh, I mean for regional championship, we were like really tired out and drained out. But like when it came to the second game, we knew what it felt to be like at state. And for region, our first state, uh, we already knew how they played and all, and we knew we had, or we knew we had to push ourselves to play harder. <laughs> yeah, you had an outstanding season. Um, everybody's saying that you guys, you should be the MVP for Fremont County. Do you think you should? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll let them decide because I don't know. I think I did okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, congrats, congratulations you. on your three P. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>into the state tournament this year um you know just keep positive mind through the whole season i mean it's kind of a bummer knowing we had to wear masks this whole season but yeah. we try not to let it get us down and we just fought through the whole season and we got to win you guys struggled a little bit against sundance in that fourth quarter what was you guys is positive uh, words to each other um we just need to keep each other encouraged and not think about what would happen if we would lose, we just try to think we need to win this game and we have what it takes to win and we just use that to win. And then in that championship game, I know you guys struggled against Rocky during regional us and then what was you guys' momentum going into the state championship game? Uh, we knew that the first time we played them, we didn't know what to expect, but now that we got to play them in the state championship, we knew what their game was all about. We knew how to stop them. We knew who was the shooters and everything. Mm -hmm. So we just took our talents to the next level and just came at them with everything we had and we got them. Yeah, they were going against you pretty hard yeah. the whole game. So congratulations on Thank your you. three-peat. And Thank I you. wish you the best of luck at Haskell, okay? Thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. Yep. What was your motivation coming into a season that you almost didn't have as other, team had, other teams had 10 games on the guys already? Um, I guess my motivation was to just work harder than those other teams since they had all those other games. So I, in practice, I made sure I was able to like get the team up, get some motivation, be positive about things, and just have that mentality to go out there and do what we do, like running and going at our pace. So. And then you guys had to wear masks throughout the season. How tough was that physically and mentally for you guys? Um, physically, it was tough, of course. You have a mask on your face and you're like, oh my god, like... Is this gonna like be harder than just like not wearing it? So it was tough. It was tough on us. I had practice when we do our time runs, and um, but then it came where it was easier and easier. So that's what I was telling the girls too. I was like, it didn't even feel like different from wearing a mask and not wearing a mask. It just felt the same. And then mentally, I think it was just the part of wearing a mask and where it was there. But then after a while, we just didn't know it was there. You guys fought to get a regional title. What was you guys' game plan against Pine Bluffs, a team you guys beat last year, thanks to a 10-0 run that you, I think you scored the six last yeah. points, and you and Jaden, and he had that big steal at the end? Well, it was kind of crazy because I know the year before we had to play South um, East, wasn't it? Yes. And that's the team that we beat um, against that state. And so it was weird this year. We beat Pine Bluffs last year, but then we played them the first game. So mentally just going in there and our game plan was just being able to watch the the main girl. Her name was Jaden. Jaden Sheila. Sheila. Yeah, she's good for her age. and. You know, that's what we had to work on and also doing our defense rotating. I know we had trouble with that too, just rotating on our press and also on like our zone press, our zone defense too. And our game plan was just to execute when we could, know our game and just work the ball around and teamwork and that was mostly 
And then um, in Sundance, you guys struggled in that fourth quarter. What, what did you guys talk about in that last timeout when Elite took all timeout? I know you guys like. I think they had. They were down by four points, I believe. What was you guys' talk in that timeout? Um, that we needed to kind of calm down and just find an open look. I think that's mostly when we're in a rush. We don't get any good looks, so what she told us is that we just need to calm down, run the play through, and if there's something open, then go ahead and do that, and also lock down on defense, so that's basically what she's saying. Were you guys expecting to play Rocky during that championship game for the state title? No, we weren't. Um, when we first got to state, she was thinking that more crop was going to make it all the way through. So we're ready for more crop, but then we were shocked because they beat more crop. So, you know, just hearing that, I was just thinking about regionals because how close it was. I was like, hopefully it's not like that. So, like, I just told the team, I was like, we need to really go out there and play our game. Like, we already know how the state tournament and the atmosphere of it, but they don't know a certain thing about it because they haven't been there since, like, 2000, wasn't it? So that's why we already knew how it was. So I was just like, come on, let's go out there and play our game. So we did. Yeah. Um we were doing the halftime show then i was like you girls need or i was telling mo and the other girls was you guys need to dance hard because these girls are wearing masks and i look up and they're like oh wait they're not wearing masks <laughs> I, I think everybody was surprised because um you know how the school board and the travel council says that we weren't going to be able to have a season if we didn't wear a mask so you know we kept that promise and we knew that that was our job to do on our part to let us have the season. Well, congrats. Is Does it feel like a three-peat now? Uh, yeah, it did. It does, I mean. Mm -hmm. And like, it didn't feel real when it happened. You know, I was kind of like, oh, wow, yay. But yeah, it does feel like it now. And then you banked that last second three and then they counted it. <laughs> I know. Um, we were going down the court and, you know, Sandy was coming down and then she passed it to me. And then she was like, shoot it. So I turned around. <laughs> And I shot it here, and I was just like, oh my gosh. So when I was coming to the bench, I was just screaming and yelling and laughing. It was fun. Okay, well, I wish you the best of luck you know, wherever you play in college. Mm -hmm. uh, you're an outstanding player, and I'm glad that you chose one game to be a team that you wanted to play for. And I wish you the best of luck. Okay, thank you. Yep. Yeah. See you. <laughs>your thoughts going into um i think it was the beginning of february what was you guys' momentum and all that due to you guys being behind so and the teams having more games than you guys well i knew we had one good thing going for us and that was that we were pretty much an experienced senior team and that was that was a plus for us because I, I knew that once we got started you know it was just going to be a matter of conditioning and trying to catch up with the other teams, you know, we were so far behind it, it was so crazy that first practice, you, you wouldn't believe how rusty they were. <laughs> but once, you know, it just came natural to them and they were just all, they just picked it up and took it game by game and just kept working each hard each day, each game. And, to prepare ourselves for the postseason and, and and they all through that whole time they believed that they could do it and they did it. Now in the championship game were you guys expecting to play Rocky? No, actually I really thought more profit was gonna be yeah. yeah, I really thought because all year more profit has been more consistent on that east side. Mm -hmm. And I just <laughs> hadn't seen very much of them other than Phil. You know, we didn't even get a chance to watch them in person too because they played the same time we did. But I, you know, I didn't expect, I didn't expect Rocky to play. And then uh, going into the championship game, I know you guys struggled against Rocky during regionals. And what was your uh, words to the girls before the game? You know, I just told them, I said, you guys have played in state championships more than they have. You're more experienced, you know what it's like. And you know, they're gonna have to take it away from you guys. You're gonna, you're gonna have to, you're just gonna play together as a team and, and do the 
best you can. Alrighty, well congrats. How's okay. it sink in the no. you're a three beater? <laughs> Even last night the girls were like, you see, it just feels unreal. <laughs> <laughs> well I'm so happy for you guys I and know. Uh, best of luck. Yes, yes, alright. Thank you. Okay, thank you.